Hey, buddy. How you doing? Where sun and moon and planets roll. You have a lovely voice. And stars Hello, Shook and Scroll here, and welcome back to another episode of Countdown to Infinite. We are on Halo 5 Guardians on the level Enemy Lines. Which, uh, in order to activate the Guardian, Osiris must track down a Forerunner Constructor. Yeah, so this is part of our mission before um, making the big attack on Sunai, Sunan, something like that. Um, a elite stronghold, uh, which is owned by the Covenant. Uh, we are going to try and get some stuff to help us with the mission. I'm not sure. <laughs> Apparently we're finding a Constructor in this area. So it's like a little side mission before we prep for the big, big battle. Um... But yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything else to say really. Um, obviously last episode was just a, a chatting around, so we didn't really learn much more. Um, and the story as is, is we're going to be helping the sword of Swords of Sangelos. And this is just part of our mission before we then help them with theirs. Um, yeah, thinking about it, I'm guessing it's only us. We must have no support other than... Well, we had the Phantom. I don't know where the Phantom's come. Not Phantom, sorry. Um, oh, Pelican. Oh. This constructor is in a forerunner facility north of here. But okay. The cubbies have a kraken parked between ah, you shit. and it. Arbiter's people are set to hit the kraken from the air while you handle ground support. Oh, nice. Once you've reached the rally point, Arbiter will give the green light. Understood, Commander. Patching you into Arbiter's battle net now. Awesome. Out there, Spartans. Let's go. Um. Yes, yeah, so we got. I don't know where we got the pelican from because we got picked up by a phantom. And as far as I'm aware, the, the Unity Infinity is not in this area. How do you know? Like, it's too dark to see colours. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Oh shit. What have you been going for lift off? You mean standing up? Fucking hell, it's so cool. Look at that thing. That is incredible. Does it just come out of this ground? Why is it this giant cliff? Fucking hell, look at it. Bananas in pajamas coming down the stairs. This time it's got jackals. Oh, that's a oh, that was a terrible grenade throw. That was a terrible grenade throw. That was a better one, but at that point they'd all cleared off. Oh, that's a wow! I was just getting no hit mark or anything from that. You gone, mate. Take this. Shield in the way. Take it down. Does it? Does it have to have a weak spot? I feel like you don't understand how shields work. Why do they have to have a weak spot? That would be a bad design to have a shield that has a weak spot, surely. It's got to have a weak spot. Why? All clear. Get that shield down. The shield's self-repairing. Focus fire. Shield's losing power. Nice. Shield's down. I mean, that makes sense. I wonder if I can smash through that. Spartan, the enemy is retreating into the temple grounds. <gasps> Ghosts. That location is between Osiris and their destination. Copy, Arbiter. Spartans, keep the pressure on. Affirmative, Commander. So cool how many times they've redesigned this stuff. Yeah, this ghost looks so different. Get to the temple ground. Fucking hell, look at this thing. I would say, though, again, I would criticise... Um, I would criticise the, the ability of getting scale. Like, it's so big, I can't comprehend, like, how actually big it is. I'd love to, like... Oh, shit. Careful. I'd love to be able to see it, like, walking from a distance. 
to see what it looks like in relation to other things around it from like a distance. It's just a bit too close for me to quite comprehend. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I can tell it's massive. Oh fuck, there's a lot of suicide grunts. Ow. It's really funny hearing Buck's voice as well at the moment, because uh, me and my partner were watching uh, Santa Clarita. I've actually already watched it, but um, I'm recommending it to, to watch, so we're watching it together again. And uh, uh, one of the main characters in it is Nathan Fillion, who's the voice of Buck. <laughs> it's just really funny, because he plays a head in a jar, um, uh, or head in a vase, I guess, technically. And it's just it's just funny to hear him talking to me in this game. Do, do, do. I don't know where I am right now. Can I have lights? I'd like lights to be on, please, because it's really difficult to see anything. I I mean I have to trust that I'm going the right way, but I've got no oh fuck. Okay, I tried to jump. Because I thought that was a jumping point, but I guess it's not. It's this way. Whoop. Oh hey, you found a different way. Have I got lost? Am I taking the wrong turn? Oh, it's over here. Ha ha. Secret. My pistol's nearly out of ammo. There's another shield in the way. Let's find a way Shit. past. That's a terrible thing. Come on. Oh. oh, hey, buddy. Um. Sit down. Oh, some carbines. I'll take those over my out of ammo pistol. I love that you can hear all their voices as well. That was that was another big mistake in Halo Four. Is that they had like filtered their voices so much you couldn't hear what they were saying. So having you be able to hear them, you know, is is much much better. Because it's a really important part of their character. Oh shit! Oh down here. Oh, a nice little blue light down here. So stop you injecting drugs into your veins. about um, oh fuck's sake I keep trying to press the wrong button to throw a grenade oh really I must have thrown it through it that's annoying oh shit that's fair enough I've got plenty of ass kicking to go around tell you what I don't have plenty of grenades to go around because I fucking through them all like an absolute dingleberry this episode. But can I get that up here? Thank you. Oh shit, snipers. Did you just cackle laugh at me? Oh shit. Under here. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't see you here. Like if I'd known you'd been here, I wouldn't have come this way, obviously. I'm sorry, it's all a big misunderstanding. Where's that plasma pistol? Because I still didn't use that. Not last episode, but the episode before. <laughs> I had a plasma pistol to like take out their shields, and I still didn't use it to take out their shields at any point. I read that as holy shite rather than holy sight. <laughs> My brain's broken. Oh, Surprise! You thought I was coming up the stairs, but I didn't. I used my little... What the f fuck just hit me? Was that a wraith? God damn. Wait, why am I instantly dead? I didn't even get rev- What? Why is this bullshit? This is so far back as well. Ow. Fuck. I'm down. Help! Under fire from the bridge. My armor stole. Um, Alright, I have to request assistance. Thank you. And. Nice. Alright. Oh, shit. Who needs help? Tanaka, no! Oh, no, it's Fail. Fail, no! Oi, give me a bitch. Ah, oh, much better grenade throw. 
I mean, it's on fire now, dude. I wouldn't get back in it. Hello. Do you not? It's interesting seeing uh, jackals use non-precision weapons. I just associate them with precision weapons so much. It's weird when they're like using like storm rifle and stuff. Also, is there any explanation as to why they started using storm rifle instead of blood? Oh, hello. Visual on ghost. Saved by the statues. Nice. Put them to good use. Will do. Is there any reason, like, I've, I've said it a bunch of times because it's, it's mind-blowing to me that the plasma rifle just disappeared and got replaced by the storm rifle. I have no idea why. But it wasn't 343 that added it. It was, um... Well, they called it the plasma repeater, didn't they? In in Reach, they added the plasma repeater, but I don't know why. They had both in that game. And they seem to follow very similar roles. So I just... Their redesign for the race is really interesting. I don't hate it, I just think it's... It looks more like a scorpion, which is ironic, considering that obviously the Unicy's version of the the tank is a scorpion. Shit, let's get right back up. Hey, buddy. You're back in it, bro. Okay, I'm back. I wonder what the canon explanation for how reviving works is. Hmm? You're all gone. Oh shit. Didn't quite make that distance as I wanted. <laughs> Look, I spent so long in Halo 1 taking ghosts into places they shouldn't go. You think you can hide inside corridors from me? No sorry. I used to take warthogs down really tight spaces as well. It's good fun. Are there any left? Can we go in? Oh, is it one of these again? Last time there was like a way around it. I'm not sure there is a way this time. Push forward. That shield's in our way. Got him. Nice work, Osiris. Move inside. Feels weird, Palmer, doing us what to I'm do. Heading into the temple. I know she did it a lot right in Spartan Ops, but I, I felt like little scrubs in Spartan Ops, whereas this I feel like we're really important Spartans and she shouldn't be telling us what to do. Dead end. Commander Palmer, you sure we're headed the right way? Affirmative. That's the only way through. Maybe there's a hidden mechanism, a door lock. Look around, Osiris. That's one up there. Uh, I guess I get to it from here. I like this bit of climbing mechanic, bit of puzzle solving. I mean, it's not particularly difficult, but it's it's cool to have nonetheless. Found something up on the ledge. This has to be it. Something's happening. Oh, very nice. Look. Right where I parked my ghost. Dr. Halsey's coordinates are just through that door. Shit. Can I take the ghost still? I will if I can. Oh, hello. We got soldiers, boys. I see it, Commander. Arbiters are all wing. The back of retreat. Press your attack. That doesn't look like a retreat. Let's help Arbiter finish this. How is that climbing down? What's this extra leg? Is it... I didn't see it climb down, it just sort of... Oh. Get airborne. We're taking the fight to them. Yeah, right. Convenient. <laughs> Not sure why the Phaeton just randomly spawned. But I didn't see how it climbed down. It seemed to more like drop, but it didn't drop fast enough to be drop. I don't know. Classic, classic Halo. Oh, that's an ally. Sorry, apologies. Yeah, see, this this sequence now gives us even more questions as to why we bothered with the having the Phaeton segment in the in the the last Master Chief level. It seemed really tacked on and unnecessary. And considering we're now using them anyway, I don't know. I feel like yeah, I feel like it was a weird decision. It felt tacked on. This doesn't feel tacked on. This. Makes a little bit more sense, although, admittedly, the Phaetons just suddenly spawn in front of us, which I'm not sure why. I guess maybe they were spawning for the soldiers, and then we... It's weird that the... the I mean, the... The Forerunners kind of are a bit weird, in the sense that their units are kind of AIs. So, why... I mean, are their ships... Their ships should also be AIs, right? You see what I mean? Like, it seems weird that... 
they would need to get a body to then pilot a ship. I don't know, I guess you could say... Fucking, this guy is really good on it. Good, really accurate. I guess you could say that the uh, ships were designed for the from the Prometheans when they weren't AI, I guess. You could, potentially. But, I don't know, that seems like a stretch or at least something that should be... I don't know how you would explain it, but I feel like it should be explained or something. Something, something sh I mean, considering we've had some interesting dialogue between them, why don't they say, why do Prometheans need, you know pilots in their ships anyway can't the pet pilots like ships be you know controlled by ai or something like you know and then they'd be like i don't know or i don't know maybe it's just not something i've ever thought about they just they wanted to add a, a forerunner ship and so this was this is how they did it but i feel like i'm making sense but i don't actually know if i am what is going on with this goddamn thing yeah i'm just getting rid of all its guns Really confused the hell out of this banshee, hasn't it? Alright, in we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, fuck, I am clearly taking hits from somewhere. It's this guy. I'm on board the track. Generator will be in the bottom. Find a path, follow it down. Gotcha. Oh, can I get this banshee? Maybe board you. No. I wish to board you. I don't need to. I'm in the Kraken, but I just wish to do it anyway. Down we go. Oh, wow. This is cool. I wonder if it's really sculpted. Like, um, or whether we've, like... I know games can, like, hide, like, teleporters and stuff to, like, move you to a different location in the, the thing. So I wonder if this is actually... Why are these Banshees here? I guess they must move up. Oh, shit. I'm burning through fuel ammo. Fuck, where's this guy go? Shit, I should have let go of this ages ago. I found the generator. Hit her with a few rounds and get the hell out of there. A few rounds, really? Should it be that vulnerable Directed to just a few generator. rounds? Oh, it looks so cool. It does look like the type of thing that would absolutely... It's about to say absolutely murder me when it explodes, and it looks like it totally did. <laughs> but before exploding. Ah. God damn. So if I hold trigger now, can I hold my plasma rifle on? Yeah. Oh shit. That did it. Looks like it was forerunner as well. Oh shit. Yep. Hey! Abandoned ship, nice. I don't know how Tanaka went back getting, getting out of here, but looks like there's a bunch of Prometheans just sort of sitting there. Oh, Tanaka's found one. That's all good. Yeah, it's just really interesting that they're saying abandoned ship. They should be saying that in Sang Sangheli, surely. Is it going to explode? What am I waiting for? Bye! Victory. Well done, Spock. Damn, Osiris, that is beautiful work. Thank you. Down. Time to grab that constructor. How's his coordinates are inside that forerunner site? Uh, where? At the moment, my only marker is for Vale. <laughs> is she the only one who made it out? No, Tanaka's there. Oh, here we go. It's open now. Let's boost! Doors opening. All right. Oh, hello. Where's this constructor we're after? Search the area. I was about to say yes sir, but that was me saying that. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to get attacked. I have a feeling that we're probably going to get attacked. Oh wow, that's cool. Something woke up. Oh. It's a, it's a guardian. See, that's the guardian there. Oh fuck, why did I punch it? There it is. Do you what the fuck? Follow us? <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh shit. Uh, I think they're mad we're stealing their construction. 
Clear the area. I mean, there's been, we've seen tons of constructors. Like, they're usually all over the place. It's weird that they would... I don't think they would be protective of us stealing a constructor, would they? Like, we have seen constructors literally all over the place. Unless these are, like, a different, like, a slightly larger one. I don't know. Oh, hey, buddy. What is this? It's like something explosive. Uh, hey, buddy. Oh, shit. That's... <laughs> That way maybe like a right goof. Oh, they're doing a good job of defending them, aren't they? Yeah, I'm glad they made the watchers a lot weaker. The wa watchers are annoying enough. They don't also need to be... Oh, these turrets are so strong. Oh shit, is he healing? The one is healing it. That's, that's so cool. They've done such a good job. Oh, fuck. Need help, please. Snacker. Oh, he's coming. Veil. Okay, cool. Thanks. Got him. They did get me first. I quite like the recovery aspect of it. I don't think it was necessary, but I kind of like it. it. Makes you feel a lot more team orientated, I suppose. Pick me up before you go. And there we go. Level done. I'm assuming. I do like how short and snappy the levels are in this campaign. Like, there's loads of them, but they're very short. It gives you lots of in and out points. Because um, obviously some people have got... Oh, I think this the same... I think this might be either the same level or the next one. I can't pause it. No, there you go. Different level. Cool. Um, yeah, that was a nice level. Um, like I said, the, it was a lot better. The, I guess, so I was saying the Promethean ships felt a bit better in this one, but once again, to be fair, you could have just used them to get to A to B. The whole job was to get inside the Kraken. So, I don't know. <laughs> Destroying all the turrets is once again a questionable, like, do, do I need to do this? I feel like I don't actually need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway type thing. So, I don't know, I still don't think they've had a great usage of that particular ship. It did at least have some, you know, a little bit of air battles. Not really, not really had any dogfighting at all. I remember there's a really good um, level in Halo 3 where you, um, you get in the Hornet for the first time and you fight loads of Banshees. That, that was a good moment. There was that air battle, but we've not really had an air battle in in a while to be honest um i'm trying to think of the last time we had an air battle obviously there's the reach one in the falcon um there's that one where you fly around the souped up uh pelican in halo 4 it had a little bit of air battle i suppose but they're all too big scale with big vehicles that are slow moving and you basically just float in the air one place from the other there's no like flying around trying to dodge stuff which was you get a bit more with the banshees um yeah Anyway, good level. Kraken's really cool. Um, it was nice to fight through it. Seemed really easy to get down into the like the engine place and destroy it. But you know, I, who am I? I don't I don't build giant sci-fi spaceships. I just feel like maybe they could have made that slightly less. Well, to be fair, these are the people that built the Scarab, which um, you can even destroy its engine just by without even like why would like look at the Scarab design. Think about the Scarab design for a second. They've got like an armor-plated rear end, which is to protect their energy section, but. You can still shoot in from the sides, still throw grenades in. It's not very well armoured at all, really, if you think about it. Just enclose the whole entire space up. Why do you need anyone to be able to shoot out from it? Anyway, that's, that's silly. It's a, it's a game. Things things are games, so let's not think about it too much. Uh, but yeah, fun level. And uh, next level is going to be another talking one as we prepare for the, the big push onto whatever the, the stronghold's called. I've forgotten the name. But uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Shotgun Squirrel out.